So before we start our flatbread, we want to take a little bit of our semolina flour and lightly coat the bottom of our pan. We don't want to put too much, otherwise the semolina flour sticks to the bottom of the flatbread and it's unappealing to eat. When we take our flatbread out of the cooler, it tends to shrink up a little bit, so we want to stretch it out to the size of your rectangle. So lightly stretch out the edges. I'm now going to take my canola olive blend and gently brush the outside of the flatbread. We want it to be about the same thickness as your brush. I'm now going to take one fluid ounce of our pizza sauce and fill the center of the flatbread. Gently using the back of the spoon, I can spread it all throughout the flatbread. You want to take the sauce straight to the edge of the canola olive blend, leaving a little bit of a crust. Now when building these flatbreads, it's important to know that less is more. You don't want to put too many ingredients on, otherwise it weighs down the flatbread and it doesn't poof up nice. So I'm just going to take a little bit of mozzarella and put it on the bottom of the flatbread. This will hold the tomatoes onto the flatbread nice. Now we're going to put our grape tomatoes on top of the mozzarella. I'm now going to take our frozen cream cheese portion and distribute it evenly on top of those tomatoes. We freeze these portions so it is easier to distribute. I'm now going to take the rest of my mozzarella and sprinkle it on top. I'm just going to take the cheese and make sure it's nicely covering all the ingredients and right to the edge of the crust. And now we're ready to cook. We're only going to cook that for about three to four minutes. Then we're going to take it, put it on the bottom on our pizza stone and cook it for about five or six more minutes. So we're now going to check our flatbread. We're going to make sure when you slide it onto the stone, it's easy to shake off. Perfect. We're now going to cook it for about five to six more minutes until it's nice and golden brown. So I've now checked my flatbread. It's a nice golden brown and ready to come out of the oven. Using a pizza pan or a pizza peel, you take the flatbread off the stone and transfer it to your cutting board. We're going to cut this into eight even pieces, one down the center and three across. I can now transfer it to my plate. So I'm now ready to chiffonade my basil leaves. You want to make sure you get nice green leaves. We're just going to put them all together, roll them up tightly. Now we're going to do nice thin strips very carefully. Perfect. You don't want to cut basil too much, otherwise it becomes bruised. That bruising causes an ugly brown color and it tastes bitter. So lightly sprinkle and finally just a pinch of oregano. And that's your margarita flatbread.